this is an anaesthetised patient having an operation who has given us consent to film the insertion of the tulip airway. The tulip airway is a cheap, disposable, one size fits all superglottic airway. I'm ventilating the patient at present using um, face mask, uh, bag ventilation with the assistance of a big deal airway. changing the oximeter over the probe over away from the blood pressure cuff arm. So I'm now ready to insert the tube of airway please. Thank you. This is a deflated tulip airway, which can be assisted with or without, can be inserted with or without the help of the ODP. It's inserted in the midline and it inserted down the back of the oropharynx until it passes the tongue, which I think is there, you can feel the give. And if you could inflate the tube with 50 mils of air, and assess the airway, and the airway is easy to ventilate, normal compliance, no leak, with normal capnography. If I release the pressure a little bit and keep hand ventilating, we have a mean pressure in this case of 15 centimetres of water, uh, a peak pressure of 15 centimetres of water with a mean of 8, and we have normal capnography and there is no leak. Then put the patient on the ventilator. She's an elective case with minimal risk of regurgitation. And there's no leak in the airway. And there is a square wave capnography showing no evidence of obstruction or abnormality. The mean airway pressure is 6 with a peak ma a maximum airway of 16 centimetres of water. So this is a an adequate airway. As with all superglottic airways, there's the risk of accidental removal. So I'm going to tie the tube in. We'll stop it coming out and it feels fixed. If I test the airway to the left, Feels normal and looks good. This capnograph is still the same. To the right, feels good and looks good. No problems. So this, in my view, is a successful uh, airway. Let's look at the cuff pressure. The cuff is feels soft, and in this patient, it is 44 millimeters of mercury. I think we can now proceed to go into theatre.